I have found a place for us to play. I'm sorry about the mic noise. There's nothing I can do about it with this headset. It's just going to be buzzy. This is Empathy Heals. We can play together here. There's a Plot Me World. There's a basic survival world and a survival nether and a survival end. And there's also a really ultra hardcore y kind of Ermagerd kind of place to play. This goes down really, really far and I pretty much explored it all. Obviously, I explored it before I had jack o' lanterns. Er. So, this is my base, obviously. And as you can see, I've done the whole gardening indoors thing. I have a beacon. This is the first beacon I've ever had in my whole life. I wanted to record it, but I thought I would be being rude if I turned off chat to record. And I don't like recording chat without people's permission besides, it, you know, it's distracting and stuff. So the beacon is almost all the way at the bottom. Er, as close as I can go. Anyway, this is a really good place for us to play. Uh, this is an inclusive... Whoa, I missed something. Whoa, 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 Look at this. Right as I was digging the beacon, look what I found. Err, boy. So, yep, there she be. Yep, gotta fix it into a mob grinder. Yep, 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 yep. Right as I was digging the beacon. Yay. This is all unexplored territory. I'd never been here before. And it's within, they have a anti grief thingy that uh, you can protect your space. Now, look at this. Yeah, buddy. Look at this. Oh, yes, we're going to make a mob grinder. Mob grinder. So, yeah, meet me here and play with me here until I figure out what to do about my own server. And let's play here anyway. I also really like Ni Nira Char. And I plan to go back. But there's the whole thing about wanting adults to play. So, I've only got one thingy so far. There's a sheep down here. I hear it walking. What? sheep down here. I don't know. Now, how do I get back up? Well, there's several schools that thought about this. Or I could just hit the back button. Except that I've turned off the chat because invading people's privacy and all that stuff. And no, we're not going up that way. So let's take the stairs. Yeah, there's a sheep down here. I don't know why. Uh, I don't want to go down there. That should be better lit. That's bad. Cooties could be in there and jump on my head. And there's chickens down here. I guess they're cave chickens. I guess cave chickens are now a thing because of uh, zombie, jockey, spider, thingy, doodah, doodah people. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, you want to know why I'm in a good mood? I have a new neighbor, and his brother lives in an RV, recreational vehicle park. That's for, like, campers and stuff. We mobile homeless tend to live in such vehicles as those. And it's in Albuquerque. And we are going to go down there on sometime after July 9th to look at it. I've already looked the place up online. I wonder how I expected myself to get out of this. Hmm. Well, no, I can't type the command. That's right. Okay. Er, so we are going to go down there and look at it because... This is a place that would cost a little more than what I'm paying now. Uh, however, it's in a safe place, which this is not. This where I'm living now is not. I'm going to make a vlog so you can see where I'm living. Um, so this place is not safe. That place I would have access to showers every day. They have a community shower. They also have a laundry room. And that's nice because of the laundry, of course. But the other reason it's nice is it has a utility sink. I can wash my dishes indoors, even in cold weather, in the utility sink. And bring them back to my place with a little cart or something. So it would be a lot more... Uh, I can't wash dishes in the winter because it's too dang cold outside. be a lot less clutter because I don't have my dishes, dishwashing stuff, my laundry stuff outside. I'm already packing. That's why I want to show you the vlog so I can show you I've made my house a mess because I'm packing. But it looks like my birthday is in August. And it looks like by my birthday I will be living in a place where I will have peace and quiet. I will not have a landlord who screams and yells at me and literally thinks I'm a demon. Yeah. 
and has told the other tenants not to talk to me. Yeah. And he was going around telling people he's the sheriff. He ran the sheriff. He lost by a landslide. But he's telling the tenants that he's the sheriff, so they will be scared of him. I will be able to live in a city, but at the edge of the city, so that I will have a beautiful view of the Sandia Mountains and of open prairies and plains nearby and the sky. I'll be able to see the stars like I do out here. So it'll be peaceful and quiet, but it'll be near a bus, near buses and a train that goes all the way to Santa Fe and south of Albuquerque to Berlin and stuff. I have friends down there. I'd like to see them again. So, yes, and get this. It costs a lot of money to tow a travel trailer. It does, especially all the way to Albuquerque. I got really lucky when I moved out here. Basically, my neighbor did me a favor. He uh, is a tow truck driver for a living, and he agreed to haul my trailer out here for the cost of gas, $100. This time, he donated because my situation where I was living down there was so bad and we really thought that this was going to be an improvement. I didn't know that I was being lured here because people thought they could steal my stuff. Why anybody want my junk, I don't know. And leave me destitute in a town where I wasn't known, where I would get run out of town as a homeless vagrant and ruin my life. So, uh, I will be moving back to Albuquerque where I have access to cheap, affordable, and plentiful food from all over the planet. I know where the Asian market is. I know where the Mediterranean market is, where the best uh, Latin markets are to buy cheap, affordable, wholesome food, fresh food, very rare out here, so I can get my health back. I can bathe daily so that I can repair the damage done to the skin on my feet, well, the skin on my whole body. Um, and you're not going to believe this, a swimming pool. So I can exercise without gravity and try to get my muscle strength back. I am packing right now and it is clobbering me. It is so physically painful. I might have 8 billion dollars to make this. I really looks so silly in this armor. So please come and, hello, where did you come from? Please come and play with me here uh, because they have a floppy world. And he makes mini games, dudes. Yes, he does. And I would really like to support her server until and unless, well, even after, if I ever can get my server up and running. Um, I would really like to support this server. Um, she's been more than welcoming. She's a real sweetie pie. She's into cooperation, not competition. There are no child slavery here. None of that junk. She's relatively new at running a server, but is very efficient and is doing a wonderful job here. Um, and I like what she stands for. Uh, she doesn't have any stuff about LGBT people. She doesn't tolerate racism or bullying or put-downs or insults or any of that stuff. There's some nice creative people here doing some interesting stuff with builds. We can work on mini games together. That's how I found her was I was on Planet Minecraft one day and I saw one of her builds. So I was over at Planet Minecraft and I saw this little game that she built. I thought it was very clever and unlike some people, I think that when you find something interesting, whether you download it, oh no, I knocked off my pumpkin seed. Whether you download it or not, if you find it's interesting and you took time to read about it and learn about it a little bit, I didn't download the game, I have other things to do, but it was just a clever little game. And she, I guess, liked something I had posted, and I found out about her YouTube channel, and then I went over and checked out the server, and I've been, oh gosh. First I was complaining there were no mobs. Well, I guess the mobs are back. Because they're out tonight. So I've been playing here almost daily. Of course, I'm packing move and stuff, so I can't play as much as I usually do. But that's not stopping me. I have to learn to use my dang keyboard buttons. It takes so long. I feel so silly when I don't. Using the scroll wheel is so inefficient. And it'll get you killed. 
When I want my sword, I should just press one. It's in the number one slot. Oh, I want to make all the zombies mad. How did they get in here? I did something wrong. So I'm playing here right now, and it looks like by the time of my birthday next month, I will be... Oh, I'm lagging too. Um, I will be living in a new house. Oh, and it has Wi-Fi. It costs a little more than where I'm living now, but I don't have to pay for my own internet. And all of the utilities are covered. And, like I said, it's a, we've got the community laundry, the community showers, and a swimming pool. And I'm close to, I'm close to the whole city. I, it's very inexpensive. There's public transportation and the train to get around. So I can get around and have my life back. Oh, they're coming over the fence some kind of way. Oh, I really wanted to get that creeper. Okay, I better eat something. It's obviously sun up. Everybody come. Hey, there's a hole in my fence. Why? Who made a hole in my fence, you jerks? Somebody's been here and they made a hole in my fence. What happens if you don't have an area protected? I wanted this to be a community garden so everybody can use it. So, I guess I have to do something about the whole not having a fence thing, huh? Because I'm going to get killed if I keep this up, and now I'm lagging. Great. Get inside the fence. So, um, yeah, so come here and play. I don't have, I have about three minutes left on this video. Oh, good. You deserve to die. Sure. There also won't be a dirt, it's called a pad, where you put the camper, uh, where you put the trailer. It won't be dirt. It will be concrete, so it'll be much cleaner. And I can go back to the project that I wanted to do in the first place, which was making Granny Gamer items, handmade items, and selling them to help defray my expenses, to help get the server back and running. So I can sell some hand-painted t-shirts, and I've got some other ideas, too, for um, merchandise that I can sell that you can't get anywhere else, because it'll be handmade by me. I'll only be able to sell it in the United States, I'm afraid, because I won't be able to afford shipping charges outside the United States. I'm sorry. I hope I've got that gate. Oh, no! Where'd the gate go? Well, whatever. I didn't pick it up somehow. That happens. Vision impaired, moving too fast, trying to talk and do stuff at the same time. Yada, yada, yada. So it'll be a home. I'm packing to move right now. Uh, and the driveway's a mess. And you'll see a, um, what do you call it? A vlog about that. I probably won't show you my face. But for one thing, I'm not. Oh, come on. Let me scroll, please. Thank you. I'm not the best looking person in the world. But the other thing is that I need to protect my privacy. So if you don't mind, I'd rather not show my face. But um, I'll show you my cats and my dog and all the junk out in the driveway where I'm sorting through my stuff to move. And I'm throwing away all my old funky looking clothes. I'm gonna dress like me again, not dress like some bland old woman living out here in the country. I can wear all my fancy schmancy clothes. Go away, Creeper! I better get out of here. I'm causing all kinds of ruckus. And the timer's running out. So, see ya! Bye!